I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitch. Yeah, big dicks. Anyways, guys, today I come to you with I guess you can maybe call this a uh, sort of interesting commentary. Let me just get to my Slayer task before I start. But yeah, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, um, JX has recently uh, up the uh, spawn rate of things recently because um, of the bonus experience weekend or the double Slayer experience weekend, whatever, for the uh, the weekend. So if you guys have been slaying lately, you guys will notice that the kills are quite fast right now. I don't know exactly how to start this commentary off. It's just it's a topic that's been actually roaming around for a little while now. I'm not sure who had the exact idea. I'm sure people had the idea recently for like a long time ago. I kind of brought it up in a future video or in a recent video, um, maybe like a week or two ago. Um, it's the whole idea of uh, a game reset, which I know you guys are like, what the fuck is that? And I know probably about 99% of the high level players would be pissed or something like that, but I mean... It's just, I don't know. I mean, there's so much to talk about. I just want to know what your guys' opinion is on it. Um, and be aware that Jax probably will possibly watch this video because I know Jax is looking for a lot of feedback of what to do for the game, uh, what type of updates they might want to be looking forward to because they realize that um, the game is slowly, uh, I mean, you can tell just by the views of each video maker for RuneScape videos are going down slowly. The subscribers, uh, the gains have been really low. If you guys want to know the truth, I think every single video maker right now for RuneScape has gained less than like, 40 subs a day for the past like two weeks besides me and a few other people um, I've actually been getting like a hundred plus every day So it's just quite amazing. So thanks, uh, but a lot of them have started to slowly crash very very fast I think even a, a friend right that guy was getting crazy amount of views every single day He used to get like 50,000 views on average a day He's getting about half of that now just because of the evolution of combat and then Jax is starting to slowly realize that um, All these changes are really bad now it's so the one thing that we've all thought about, kind of most of us video makers, and even a few uh, other players as well. I know there's a there was actually a, a post on the High Level Forums about a game reset, and there's a lot of people that were happy and a lot of people that were uh, upset about this idea even. Um, and I, don't know, I kind of just want to bring it up to you guys, what would you guys think about it? And if you are a high level player, um, I understand you spend a lot of time in the game and stuff like that, and so, I ha so have I, right? I've spent fucking 900 days playing on this game, and at this point, I'm honestly okay with a game reset. I know you guys might think this sounds fucking crazy and Jags will never do it, but believe me or not, Jags has gone to a lot of video makers recently. Um, I'm, when I mean a lot, I mean like most of them, like almost 99% of them. Um, they've asked us what type of um, updates do you guys think this game needs to keep it alive? Um, not exactly alive, I'm not going to say that, but um, to keep the video makers. Because a lot of video makers now, if you guys have seen the smaller ones, the YouTube video makers uh, for RuneScape, have quit, right? A lot of them have quit and they're gone. Even Smooth is gone. Um, and a lot of other ones that are like around 10K, around that era, I guess. Um, and all the bigger ones are thinking about quitting, right? Um, and they're, they're noticing that, right? So they're wondering, like, you know, what exactly is killing off, you know, all these video makers. And it's the fact that we just really don't enjoy the game as much. I still do. I mean, I like this update. I wish of combat's good for me. Um, but I'm realizing that a lot of people don't like it. Especially, like, I talked to Sorak and uh, I even talked to Spark Mac for a little bit. Um, and yeah, like peaking is completely dead. They told me they told me about three or four people are in the wild and of those four people like two of them are one itemers. So like that's that's great. And honestly back in the day I really don't remember too many one itemers because I mean you couldn't do much with what I mean back in the day. You would take a whip and hit like a what a five like <laughs> good job. Now one reason I would love a game reset is because it would just open up so many new fields of everything. I mean you could be the first person just think about it. you could be the first fucking person to double nature runes, right? You, can, you know how much money you can make from double nature runes, guys, way back in the day? Um, you could be the first person to kill an Abyssal Demon and get a whip. I mean, you actually have a strive now to get 85 Slayer. I remember back in the day, man, when I was, you know, 70 Slayer, I could kill a Gargoyle, or whatever the fuck, it was 75 or 70, I can't remember, um, and 80 was Necro and all that shit. It, you would actually look forward to that shit, because Necro would be like a lot of rune boots, you know, a lot of money from there, and all this crap, right? And you'd actually have a reason to want to train something, and nowadays it's just like, you know, you can get 99 Slayer in like a fucking week, not a week, but like probably two or three weeks, and it doesn't really do anything to you anymore. It just makes you actually lose money now because of the cannonballs, right? Back then, you used to be like, yo, 85 Slayer, man. I'm going to camp Abyssal Demons to like 99 attack, defense, and strength and make like millions and millions, right? Nobody does that anymore. Who the fuck camps Abyssal Demons uh, for money? It's like it's 150k for a fucking whip. I mean, there's no motivation in that. And like I said before, I know the high level players will be pissed, but you know what, man? If you guys have gone this far with RuneScape and all the updates, I am, I am more than convinced that you are just addicted, just like I am. I'm fucking addicted. They could do anything in this game, I'll probably still be playing it, just because I'm fucking addicted. I'll still play at the reset, for sure, and I'm sure a lot of high level players will still play. Um, for the first, like, maybe week or so, they'll be like, what the fuck, I just wasted all my time. But once they come back to it, it's just like, this is actually kind of fun. 
But yeah, the ratings of this video is for you guys to decide. If you guys would not want to reset, just, you know, dislike the video. If you guys want to reset, just like it, I guess. That's kind of the best thing I can say. And I will tell you right now, Jax will see this video. I'm more than positive. I will send it through email even if I have to. Um, and I just want to see what the feedback would be like on this type of uh, this topic. The one thing I absolutely love, though, about the whole, you know, if we did have a game reset was Jax basically now knows where they fucked up kind of thing. Like, they basically have experience now, first-hand experience of where they fucked up to, you know, make RuneScape worse and have, have the... Uh, players decline right so that's kind of a good thing Jax does know that you know they have that in their pocket now they know what it's like to uh to not be successful anymore like they used to be um i can't really say they used to be really successful i mean compared to other games they weren't ever that great but for their own little game here it's, it's quite successful and i'm just comparing that to other things like you know minecraft and like league of legends they have like nine million accounts and those accounts cost money like i mean i think minecraft account is 28 bucks and there's 9 million uh, Minecraft accounts created, I think. So that's, what is that, 27 million or 270 million? I don't fucking know. It's something like that. And aside from that, you have servers you got to pay for. It. It's, it's a lot of fucking money. But yeah, I want to leave it up to you guys uh, in the comments below as well. You guys can talk about, you know, if you guys would like free trade or not. I personally am a strong believer of free trade being horrible nowadays. Um, simply because of, I mean, if JX could honestly, like, fight off the botters and the real world traders and, the you know, any type of gambling going on, I wouldn't mind free trade. That's not a big deal to me. But I do like the fact that earning your money is actually really, it's really interesting, right? I mean, I remember going to God Wars Dungeon and you would see people with, like, so much shit. Like, even full bandos back then and a God Sword or some shit. But, yo, what'd you do? It's like, I did God Wars Dungeon for all this. I'm like, oh, my God, I got to do God Wars Dungeon. This is fucking awesome, man. The spawn rates, I, why, I want Jax to keep these spawn rates, man. I'm literally just nonstop attacking these things. There's never, like, a dull moment here. Fuck, I am losing my voice from this video. Holy shit. Another bonus clip, bonus clip, another bonus idea I kind of had as well, um... As you know, all this, all the RuneScape video makers you guys are subscribed to would um, would basically well I'll be doing basically like a road to Maxscape but in our own version, right? Or you know there'll be a few PKers, right? There'll be probably Smart Mac and a bunch of the PKers making like PKing accounts, right? Trying to do stuff on that, um, and then there'll be people like me doing road to Maxscape kind of thing and just doing all these new things. And it's well, not new; it's kind of like redoing things, but you know, kind of interesting. But I don't know, this whole idea has been something that's kind of been floating around our heads for a little while now, um, ever since you could see the decline of players. And I don't know, I mean, honestly, to me, it's it's so crazy it might work. That's kind of the only thing I can say with this update is it's so crazy it might work, and that's just one of the things. Either way, though, I am happy with how, how I am playing RuneScape now. Like, I don't hate this at all, but I just feel like, I mean, it actually kind of would have a lot more fun, honestly, if it was uh, way back in the day kind of thing. Uh, which brings up, yes, private servers. I don't really want to play that because it just does not feel legit. Um, and it just kind of feels like a waste of time to me. Um, if you guys enjoy that, that's great. You guys are playing because you have fun. I have fun gaining experience and going up ranks. That's just kind of the type of person I've always been. But yeah, you guys give me your feedback in the comments and just give it a rating quickly if you guys want. Um, I, I'm kind of nervous to see what the ratings will be. I know a lot of people would be like, dude, I just spent like the past two years on RuneScape. I don't want it to be reset. What the fuck? Are you crazy? I guess it's kind of hard to ask the people that haven't played like way back in the day. They're probably just like, what is 2008 or 6 or whatever? Like, I've never played in that time zone. It must suck dick or, you know, like, they don't really know, right? So it's kind of hard to ask those type of people. But um, if you guys have played back in the day, just remembering all the things that you did probably would bring back a lot of good memories. Though I will bring this up. This is something that I've also thought about and someone else did leave me a comment uh, in one of my videos a little while ago is... Um, everyone that's still playing RuneScape right now, um, we've all grown up from, like, how we used to play RuneScape kind of thing. Like, when I played RuneScape, you know, back when I really enjoyed it, I was, like, fucking 12 years old, right? And I'm sure it's the same deal with most of you guys, so I understand we're all younger at the time when RuneScape was really fun for us, and now that we've all grown up, we've kind of got, we see the game in a different way. That is one thing that we can't really change. We won't be 12 again and playing, like, it's 2006 or whatever. Um, I think I was 12 in 2006, wasn't I? It was two, seven years ago basically so yeah I'm, i was 11 <laughs> wow i was a fucking alcan junior up in this bitch but yeah it'll be very interesting to see the comments and the ideas in the comments below so hopefully you guys can leave me some feedback and i guess leave jack some, feed some feedback as well because uh, i'm quite sure that we've seen this video but yeah anyways i'll see you guys next video that's kind of all i had to talk about today it's quite a serious topic and quite a questioning topic i guess but uh, I'm sure more video makers will get into it a little bit more as well because they probably think they're exactly the same. I did, I did also talk to uh, James from RuneShark, and um, he uh, he was actually all up for the idea as well. He's like, yeah, that'd be awesome. I would love to do a Road to Maxscape series like in the you know old RuneScape and stuff, even though he's still doing one right now. But um, yeah, I don't know. To him, he was on board. I think every single video maker was on board. Um, and it'd be quite a bit of fun for a lot of us as well, I guess. But anyways, that's all I have to say for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next video. 
Oh, and guys, don't worry. I know every single dicer and whatnot is going to probably dislike the video because they don't want to like stop making money from in real life selling it. Of course not. Right? That's probably about a thousand dislikes right there just from the, just from the dicers. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed.